This is a short demonstration video of this radio controlled model submarine. This is a Los Angeles class 688I, the last version of the Los Angeles class submarine made for the US Navy. This is a working model submarine and I'm going to demonstrate its submerging capabilities. Currently it's sitting on the surface. This is called surface posture. The bow is up, the stern is down. That allows the submarine to ride on the surface at speed without the stern coming out of the water. The pressure on the front of the submarine will level uh, out the uh, hull during high speed running and keep the propeller in the water. So when you go to submerge you have to transfer between surface posture for speed running to level hull. I'm going to do that now. There's a ballast tank in the bow. It's going to fill up first. That's going to level the hull. We use a geared ballast pump to fill and empty the ballast tanks. Now the forward ballast tank is full. The plumbing is going to route the water to the central ballast tank. Now the central ballast tank is filling up and you see at the top of the sail there is a stream of water. That is the snorkel vent. It's now submerged completely underwater. Now this is the interesting feature here. The submarine is set up so that the snorkel vent will start venting water before the submarine has negative buoyancy. And here we are, we've gone back to the surface again. Now the interesting way this runs, this uh, submerging and then sub, uh, coming back to the surface on its own is that when the ballast pump is running it's so powerful it can actually pump more water into the ballast tank than the vent can vent out. So for a short time the air inside the ballast tank compresses and more ballast water is taken on allowing the sub to go to negative buoyancy. When the controls are returned to neutral and no more water is being pumped in the pressure inside the ballast tank from the compressed air will push the ballast water back out again and return the sub to its normal buoyancy setting. In this case the level of the snorkel valve is set up to give this amount of buoyancy. If you make a longer snorkel valve tube you'll actually take in less water because the bottom of the tube is closer to the bottom of the tank and that'll give you greater buoyancy. So you can actually adjust how much buoyancy you get with this submarine. Alright, so we're going to submerge again. Pumping water in, notice the snorkel valve spewing water. We're going to the bottom. So I can actually keep the submarine underwater using the ballast pump. And then anytime I'm ready, just go neutral on the controls, she'll return herself to the surface. Okay, now I'm going to put the radio back in front of the sub. Let's dive again. Okay, now I'm going to walk away and you can see that the controls are all neutral and the submarine will recover itself from the depths and resurface on its own. Still venting out of the snorkel. It's still pushing water out of the ballast tank. Alright, so now I'm going to pump water out of the ballast tank, return the submarine to the surface, The central ballast tank is now emptied. It's going to switch over and start emptying the forward ballast tank in the bow. You see the bow is coming up, the stern is going down, it's returning to surface posture. And there we go, there's bubbles venting out of the intake. So the ballast tank is now empty, and that concludes our demonstration. Thank you very much.